So I'm here to show you a must-have Linux app called Gnome Do, and what it is is a search program. Uh, it allows you to very quickly find, uh, you know, different documents, folders, uh, websites, applications, any of that sort of thing. And it's really cool. It's based on uh, a program called Quicksilver, which was developed for the Mac. Uh, Quicksilver is not open source, but it's, uh, you know, some, somebody was able to make a Linux version without uh, infringing on someone else's code. So basically what you do is you hit uh, super space bar. And super is the Linux name for the Windows key. I've actually changed mine to control space because I don't have a Windows key on this particular machine. So what you get is this search box here. And we're actually going to go in, hit that arrow, select preferences. And it opens preferences for us. And I don't know why this isn't already enabled, but we're going to check files and folders. To me, it would make sense to enable that out of the box, but it's not. So anyway, files and folders. Let's see if there's anything else here. Uh, session management, calculator. Let's enable Rivenbox. Okay. So now, um, let's just do a quick little. So, Control Space, or by default, uh, Window Key Space, Super Space, whichever you want to call it. And what's really cool about GNOME Do compared to the standard search feature is it will actually learn your habits. Um, I have files with the names essay. So automatically it pulls that up. Okay. And folder two is on my desktop. Let's open that. There it is. It's not perfect. See, it's it's not quite recognizing my patterns. Oh, I see what it is. The the, the thing is, it can be a slight pain to get set up. But once you do have it set up, it's fantastic. So, let me show you what I did. What you actually have to do is go into the preferences again, select files and folders, hit the configure button, and then you can hit plus. And desktop Hello. Personal. So we'll add personal. Do it again for folder two. And again for folder three. Okay. So now, when we search SA, we get SA2 and SA1. If we search DOC, we get DOC1 and DOC2. We also get two different documents folders that are on this machine. Uh, you can also use it for applications and uh, settings, that sort of thing. Let's say I want to edit my appearance settings. I type A. And it's already realized that I want appearance. 
And it, it learns from that. It learns from what I do with it and what I access. It'll learn from my habits. Okay, so if I wanted to mess around there, uh, maybe I want to open Firefox. Type F. It's recognizing already, but I want Firefox. And it, it can make things very, very fast and easy. There we go. So that's the basics of Gnome Do. And I think it's a must-have Linux app. You can get it from the Ubuntu Software Center. And you can also download it online. And um, be on the lookout for episode two, which will be about customizing your GNOME panels. <laughs>